I think it's in our interest to have a new one. I just want to make sure that we have one that works for our warfighters. I want to make sure that we have one that works for the men and women we're asking to go into harm's way. And we do it in such a way that it doesn't, it doesn't put them in jeopardy. What would that look like? Well, I think the administration should take the lead on what an AMF looks like. Like but it, right. I didn't like the one that Obama wrote, excuse me, that President Obama wrote, because I thought he was tying the military's hands behind their backs. I didn't like the deadline because I think that puts our military in duress. So what, to, what matters, in my opinion, is that we have one that respects the fight that we have in front of us, which is multi-content. I mean, we're, we've, got, we've got ISIS in Libya. We've got ISIS in the Arabian Peninsula. We've got, we've got Central Asia. So we've got a lot of fights on our hands that we had to engage in in order to keep the American people safe. I think the president recognizes this threat. I think the president, through a long analysis, recognizes the need to go a, a, a better, different way in Afghanistan. I think in Afghanistan, uh, I think the best description of the last 16 years in Afghanistan is we've had 16 one-year strategies in Afghanistan. We need to have a real strategy in Afghanistan that shows what victory looks like on how we keep ourselves safe and deny terrorist safe havens. And an AMF should should reflect that, and it, and it shouldn't tire our war fighters. Kerry. Um, as far as DACA is uh, concerned, and any potential legislation in the next six months, did the president make it clear that he's looking for any type of wall funding to be added to this, or how did the uh, Democratic leadership possibly react to that? Before? Well, I'm not going to get into our, our our meeting yesterday. That was a private conversation. I'm sure there's going to be rival interpretations. Uh, but what we as Republicans, and, and I feel safe saying the, the administration agrees, is remember DACA is a symptom of a problem. We don't have control of our borders. And so while we deal with this issue, which the president just gave Congress time to deal with, I think it's only reasonable that we deal with the root cause of the problem, open borders, uncontrolled borders. We need to control our borders while we deal with this problem so that we don't have the same problem 10 years from now. That's just perfectly reasonable. And it wasn't too long ago that I think a lot of Democrats agreed with us we should have operational control of our borders. Well, obviously, funding the border is part of controlling the border. We haven't done the whip on this, so I, I don't know the answer to your question about um, the vote, the vo about the vote count. Uh, we all thought we had more time, obviously, to deal with a debt limit issue, and that's before the hurricanes hit. When these hurricanes hit and we saw the new numbers coming in from FEMA, um, that changed the entire calculation. And so the president made a, a game call uh, yesterday that he thought it was in our country's interest to have a bipartisan support in a bipartisan package to deal with these ongoing hurricane disasters. And so that is where we are right now. And look, hurricanes don't discriminate between Republicans and Democrats. Hurricanes just hit people. They hit Americans. And we have an obligation to respond to this. So thank you very much, everybody. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.